share. Coming in. Hi, George. You scared me. I was here with the dog. See? Oh, I love you, feed me. <laughs> feed me. Your name is Feed Me. Yeah. How did you find me? I'm Pranita and we're studying lesson nine, the rock and the sand. Our memory verse is, my God is my rock in whom I take refuge. Psalm 18 verse 2. Have you ever built a sand castle on the beach? Even though you build it high and you pat the sand until it is firm, what happens when the foamy waves wash around it? A long time ago, Jesus told a story about that. One day, Jesus sat on the side of a hill, talking to hundreds of people seated on the grass in front of him. Jesus knew about storms and floods. So did the people seated around him. Many of them had lived near the Sea of Galilee all of their lives. When they were children, they probably played at the water's edge. Jesus loved the people so much, he wanted them to understand about God. He wanted them to understand how to be joyful. Maybe a story about building at the water's edge would help them understand. And so Jesus told this story. Once, a man decided to build a house. He chose a high, rocky ledge on which to build it. The water wouldn't flood his house. His house would be safe and the foundation strong. The man worked hard carrying the building materials all the way up onto the rock. After the house was finished, the rains came down, the wind blew and blew, the streams grew bigger and bigger, overflowing their banks. Now there was flooding to worry about, but the house was safe. The man had built it on a strong, firm foundation of solid rock. That makes sense, doesn't it? The people thought so. They all nodded and said, Amen. And Jesus told them, If you listen to God and live for me, you are building your house on the rock. And all the people nodded and said, Amen. Again, because building on rock made sense. Then Jesus continued, his story was not done. Another man built himself a house. The man chose to build his house on the sand at the water's edge. He probably built a strong house too, and he probably worked very hard at it. After the house was finished, the rains came and pounded it. The wind blew and blew. The streams rose higher and higher and overflowed their banks. Soon they flooded the house. The waves beat and beat against the house, washing away the sand underneath it. And the house fell in with a mighty crash because there was no deep, firm foundation supporting the walls. What a foolish man, the people may have thought. He should have known better. And so he should have. But listen to what Jesus said next. When people listen to my words and do not do anything about them, they are as foolish as that man. They cannot expect to be joyful. The wise person not only listens, but is willing to do what I say. The people opened their eyes in amazement as they listened to Jesus. His teaching was very different from the teachers of the law they usually heard. Some of the people may have even remembered what David said in Psalm 18 verse 2. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge. I wonder, 
How many people who heard Jesus that day were willing to build their lives on Jesus? How many wanted to study and live by God's word? How about you? Hello, everybody! Welcome back to one of our videos, Lil Talks About, about God. God. In case you don't know me and my sister, my name is Elian Samara, and I am nine years old. Today, we're going to have a fun time with you. Today's story was about the parable of the two builders, which one was wise and the one was foolish. So if it's your first time watching this video, let me tell you a little glimpse of what we do. First, we watch our Bible story. Then we're going to have a little talk about God. That's why we named it like that. Yep. And then... We will pray and have our song. So let us start having our conversation with Georgette, our little talks about God. Yeah. <laughs> now let's start. Georgette, what did you understand from the story? I understand from the story that the wise man wanted to build his house on the rocks. Yes. And then he built it. When he finished, the rain fell down and the floods came up. What about the other builder? The other builder was foolish and I did not like him. And then he built his house in the sand and then his house destroyed. Yes. But it's not poor now. This is a foolish man. <laughs> he's Foolish. not poor like <laughs> he's not poor. How could he be poor if he's foolish? He's foolish. I don't like him. He needs to have be a better mind. Huh? Yeah. To listen to God more better. And then and then his house is destroyed and then his house in the water. Yeah, most probably that happened. Mm -hmm. So, she explained it to us really nice. I mean, she understands a lot of the story. Yes, yeah, and the wise man is listening to God and his mind is his mind is perfect. <laughs> oh, so cutie. Well, let's go to the main message. The main message is to live with the word of God, God. to he hear and do what he says. Because if you just hear the word of God and do not anything, you're like the foolish man that he built his house on the sand and everything was destroyed. But we want to do, we want to be the wise man. Example, mm -hmm. we have to do the good things that he says, so we could have a joyful life. So now let's pray. Come children, let us pray. Who's praying? I will pray. <laughs> so, let us bow our heads and pray. Our dear loving and heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful sunny day you have given. Bless those who are watching so that they will have a relationship with you. Lord, help us to be the wise man, to be like the wise man, I mean, to do the good things and to do your words. And Lord, forgive us from any wrong thing we have done. And thank you for giving us all the things we need. Thank you, Lord, for hearing my prayer, and you are a good God, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Now we're going to sing, The wise man built his house upon the rock. Come, children, let us sing it.
Talks About God. We love you 